Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't be What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another review review. Uh, continuing with our No Buy November. If you haven't seen my other videos, it's when you decide not to buy beer for November and get through your cellar. I've had a blast doing this the last couple weeks. So, and it's been nice on my wallet. You guys should try it sometime. It's good times. So, uh, tonight we are checking out another barley wine. We're on a little bit of a barley wine kick. Uh, this is the 2015 vintage from Firestone Walker, and it is Sukaba. I think this beer used to be called Abacus, and then they decided to go backwards or make the word backwards and be Sukaba. I'm not sure. 13.3% uh, alcohol by volume. This has all kinds of stuff on it. Shows the OG 42 IBUs. Uh, they produce 3,500 cases. The yeast is British Ale, 45 SRM, and uh, final gravity is 3.8 Plato. So. Uh, it's been a while since I've had a Firestone Walker beer. I've actually had this beer. I think I had this beer at like a beer fest one year. It was part of like the VIP thing and I got a pour of it, but uh, I've never really sat down and checked it out. So I'm excited. Um, I've been enjoying barley wine recently. So let, uh, let's check this out. This has been sitting out for about 35 minutes. So it's got a chill on it, but it's not cold, cold. Go straight down the middle. This beer is absolutely beautiful. It is an awesome ruby red. Give ourselves, give ourselves a healthy pour. And we'll put that there. So, yeah. Um, what does that look like on camera? It looks like a dark red, but it's this rad, like, ruby red. It's got these cool, like, red hues on the edge of the glass. Um, creamy finger of, like, an off-white head. Really, really compact bubbles. It's fluffy. It looks absolutely awesome. We're using our monkish glassware today. I haven't, uh, I haven't reviewed a Monkish beer in a long time, but yeah, 13, uh, 13.3%, 13 22 ounce bottle. We, uh, somehow survived that dogfish head 120 the other night. That beer was crazy. So shove our nose in this one, see what she's got. Oh, there's so much barrel character in that. So oaky. And it's got this awesome, like caramely. Um, even like a little, like sort of molasses thing. It smells sweet, but not like crazy over the top, really, like really sugary sweet. Definite dark fruit in there. Um, it's like figgy plummy, but yeah, like that oak character is awesome. Firestone Walker, they do really good barrel aged stuff. And I think, I mean, all the Firestone Walker beers I've ever had, they're very barrel forward. Um, and this is, I mean, even after this is 2015 vintage, we said, even after almost five years in the bottle, like it's still present. It's very woody, oaky. There's even like a little bit of like vanilla in there. So this smells absolutely freaking awesome. So let's taste it. Cheers. Ooh, <laughs> that is, that's delicious. Wow, that's good, man. Um, so I think, is this, I think it's bourbon barrels that they put this in, right? Uh, that aroma was very woody, oaky, um, like even like a little bit of a char. There is that spirit character on the finish of that. I think it's bourbon that they, uh, uh, barrel ages and, and that bourbon is there on the finish. It is not hot, but it gets you right on like the back of your tongue. But all that awesome dark fruit, plummy, figgy, like just right at the front is there. And as it goes over your palate, you get that woody, it's really, it's dry. Woody, oaky kind of drying as it goes across the, uh, to the finish of that. And then you get that, you're hit with that like pop of spirit, that bourbon. Um, that sweetness that we were smelling, it's there. There's even like a little bit of vanilla Man, this beer is fucking delicious. It's got an awesome, like, it is, I, I mean, it's not like, you're not, you're not chewing on it like the uh, Modern Times Horace barley wine that we drank the other night, but it is a nice, just velvety, soft, full mouthfeel. And yeah, that, that bourbon spirit or whatever, whatever barrel it is, I'm almost positive it's bourbon. You get that awesome, almost like peppery bite that you get. If you ever sip on bourbon, like rye kind of whisk, I mean that rye, like there's like that rye spice to it. It's got like that peppery bite to it. 
That's the best. I, I'm not a bourbon guy. I'm not a whiskey guy, but that's the best that I can describe it. This beer is absolutely freaking delicious, and I'm going to enjoy every second that I get to sip on this for the rest of the night. Um, not a chore to drink. It doesn't feel boozy, but you get that bite. Um, it doesn't feel, I don't know, it doesn't feel heavy. I'm just blown away by how, I know people hate the word smooth. This is extremely smooth. This is delicious. Oh, it's so good. That little bit of vanilla, that sweetness goes so well with those dark fruits too. This is killer. This is absolute fire. I wish I had more bottles of this, but I don't, I don't even remember buying this to be honest with you, but yeah, that's about it. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. This beer is crazy. If you have a 2015 bottle of Sukaba, open it right now and drink it. I don't give a shit what time it is that you're watching or what day you're watching it. Open it right now and enjoy it. So, uh, yeah, this is, I'm blown away. Absolutely fantastic. World-class fire, all that good stuff. So uh, I'm out of here guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade, all that shit. <laughs> I was younger, I was into video games Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news To all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes